Hey everyone, Philip Macko here. Welcome to another episode of the Muddy Waters podcast where we call out the scams and demystify misinformation. And you may have gotten a random message. Maybe it's on LinkedIn uh, professional outreach. Maybe it's on a dating site. And, you know, you're tempted to uh, respond and you do. And you start to have back and forth conversations Maybe it's an attractive woman, maybe a handsome man, whatever you're looking for, right? This person has it. You take a look at their profile photos and, you know, they appear to be traveling around the world. They have luxurious items in their photos, uh, those types of things. And you strike up this conversation, but as you're going back and forth, maybe they start to ask you some personal questions. Maybe they casually mention investment strategies, whatever it may be, and something tingles your spidey sense and it says to you, hmm, wonder why this person actually is reaching out to me. Wonder why on the dating site, all of a sudden they're so engaged with me and they send me messages in the morning. Good morning, darling. I hope you have a wonderful day. And at night they send messages, you know, hope you had a great day. Can't wait to talk to you again, whatever that might sound like. Um, and it triggers something in your mind to say, huh, I wonder, but you keep engaged, right? I want to show you a way that you can determine for yourself doing a little bit of research to find out if this person is really legitimate. As I covered in a previous episode, and, you know, check out the episode uh, because it's mind-blowing. There are encampments. Uh, the one I cited is located in the country of Myanmar, right across the uh, border of Thailand where there are thousands of human tra trafficking victims taken at gunpoint, forced to surrender their passports, forced to sign contracts, and entered into indentured servitude where as many as 16 hours a day, they're creating fake profiles and reaching out to potential scam victims. They're given quotas. If they don't meet their quota, they're beaten. They're forced to do 100 squats, 100 push-ups, they're in prison, they're electrocuted. I'm not making any of this stuff up. And these sometimes are the people who take on a very legitimate profile photo that they have carefully crafted uh, for them by their managers. And they might be the ones reaching out. So how do you find out if that's actually the case? How do you find out if that's happening? Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how. So as you can see, this is a photo of me. Um, so, Philip Macko, I'm your host, um, and I wanted to pull up this example so I didn't violate the privacy of someone else. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to right click on an image. Let's say you're on that dating site and it's a beautiful woman or a handsome man. Right click on their photo and choose save as or save picture as or save photo as, whatever that may be. Save it to somewhere you can easily find it. That's step one. Step two, type into your browser Google Images. And when you pull up the Google Images site, you want to be sure to click on this multicolored uh, camera icon. And once you've clicked on it, I'm going to show you exactly what happens with my photo. So now that you've clicked on the icon, uh, it pulls up a screen that says drag an image or upload a file. And I'm going to do exactly that. All right, now that I have pasted the image in, um, it pulls up all the results that match me. So as I've mentioned in previous episodes, I'm a published author, a five-time published author. I'm a career ownership coach and host of the Money Waters podcast. And you can see that this photo matches um, many different sites, including LinkedIn, right? Here's what to look for in, in the image that a scammer may be using. The name's not going to match. They're going to have uh, suspicious social media websites. Uh, I'm going to click into mine just to show you. Here's me on Audible, right? My uh, first novel called The Conduit. Um, really proud of uh, the voice talent that I used, Adam Pritchett. Uh, just amazing uh, voice talent out of Italy who recorded <laughs> more than a dozen voices for this book, right? But the photo matches me, the name matches. When you start to do an image search and then you see various pictures full, pulled up, maybe it's Instagram, 
whatever the um, um, cited sources may be, go into those profiles. Does the name match the person that you're talking to online? If not, there's your first clue, right? Do they have multiple sites with people following them? Are they engaged on social media? Or are their profiles fairly new? That can tell you a lot as well. So, yeah, I wanted to share this with you, show you how to do an image search, and try it out for yourself. Just, you know, take one of your own photos and go into Google Images, uh, upload the photo, see what shows up for you. And once you've learned how to do it, if you get this message on LinkedIn, hey, just reaching out to you, want to learn more about what you do, and you start engaging, and then, you know, conversation becomes a little bit personal, they start asking questions, they're constantly in touch with you. You're on a dating site and you get these same messages and the same level of engagement and something says to you, I want to make sure this is legit. This is how you do it. So hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, if you liked it, please click the thumbs up button. Please subscribe and please join me for future episodes. Hope you have an excellent day.